Hello, Web Scouts. We're here outside of Lowe's. That is a like a Home Depot type of store. If you don't know what Lowe's is, you're obviously not an American. That's okay. And this three-minute course will teach you everything you need to know about being American outside of a Lowe's. First things up, you got to bring a problem. I need screws, okay? These are the screws I need. My amp that I use to amplify my voice uh, and my street shows, some screws fell out of it. Can't find them. So I took the ones that were left. I need to get a couple extra. Otherwise, it's just going to fall apart. So check one. Make sure you have an item. I got it right there. Check two. Make sure you're at a Lowe's or a hardware store uh, in America. That's step two. Step three. Make sure you have a way to pay for the item. And step four, when you pay for your item that you get, oh, you'll also like roam around a little bit and you won't be able to find it. And then someone will be like, do you need some help? And then you'll be like, no, 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 I'm good. And then someone else will be like, yo, you need some help? And you're like, no, 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 I'm good. And then like, aha, someone else will come up and they'll be like, do you need some help? And you'll be like, yeah, I do. I can't find this. And they'll be like, oh, uh, let me find some help for you. Happens every time, I swear to God. So then you'll find the item after about an hour. You'll go and pay for the item. Um, and when you pay for the item, you say, God bless America. And then you just walk out. And that is how you are an American at a hardware store in the United States. <laughs> Pass that advice on to someone. Wow, I didn't even know. I didn't know that was going to happen when this video started. I just started filming, and that's what came out of my mouth. Exciting things. Well, Speaking of exciting things, something really crazy did happen. I'm actually still in Massachusetts because my plane, I went to the airport, you know, got all there, got all my stuff, went through security, checked my bags, the whole nine, took like an hour and a half, sit down, get comfy in my seat right outside the plane, watch the plane come in, watch all the people come off the plane. I'm like, all right, here we go. Here comes home Los Angeles sunshine and celebrities. And then the guy comes on, yeah, excuse me, the plane was struck by lightning. We will not be going to Los Angeles this evening. And I was like, no, why? why? But I'm supposed to go to Los Angeles. It's so sad. It was really devastating. So yeah, my plane was literally struck by lightning. And the concierge lady, she was like, yeah, I've worked here 11 years. This has never happened. So, um, and the crazy thing was when the people were all coming off the plane that were on it, they didn't have like the crazy mad scientist hair up sticking up like that. They didn't, you know, look like peacock feather heads. No, they just looked like normal people. Like, uh, oh, of course something's going to go wrong. Where's my free drink ticket? <laughs> they just, they look normal. Like get my bag and get me out of here. So yeah, it was struck by lightning. I'm stuck here. And I'm going, so I, I was going to be in L.A. for two and a half days. Now it's going to be one and a half. Not very excited about that. You need at least two days to recover from a plane flight. <sighs> Your quiz queen for the day is, what did we talk about today? Well, we talked about screws, plastic bags, being an American. Oh, there we go. We got people from all over. I don't care if you're American, Australian, Canadian, Quebecian. I don't care if you're from South Dakota. What is it? that makes you proud to be that thing. Maybe you're a Boy Scout, and you're proud to be a Boy Scout because you will have won the race car derby every single year. Whatever it is, I'm proud. I'm proud to be a juggler because I get to travel the world. Oh, and I actually heard this awesome quote someone uh, actually put about my show. They put, Alex Clark is a comedian that stands above the rest. That's awesome. If you think about it, I stand up on a 12-foot ladder. I'm literally standing above the heads of every single comedian in the world. Ah, very clever. Very clever. That was a festival in the Carolinas, and I'll be back this October. Third year in a row. They have me marked down as an audience favorite, so I'm pumped. And yeah, that's your quiz quickie. What are you proud to be? Leave your comments down below. Or even cooler, a video response would be awesome. And you know what? These videos haven't been getting a lot of views, but I honestly, I don't mind. That means the people that do watch like them that much. That is, This is literally just for like 10 people right now. That's so cool to me. Okay, I'm going to see you later uh, all over the world. Leave your comments down below. Thanks you for subscribing and doing all those things that you do to support me. I wouldn't be here without you. And cartoons, I'm starting writing one. I'm writing one. They're hard to draw on the road, but I'm writing one. It's coming, I promise. Okay. All right, bye!